Amateur Logic Shorts. Use the Raspberry Pi as a Chromebook. Chromium OS on the Raspberry Pi. Okay, what is a Chromebook? A Chromebook is a lightweight laptop with lower specs, like processor speed, but instead of running an operating system like Windows, it runs on Chrome OS. The trade-off in less processing power results in outstanding battery life. Now here is where things get a little confusing. Chrome OS versus Chromium OS versus Chromium Browser. There are two versions of this operating system, Chrome OS and Chromium OS. What's the difference? Google Chrome OS is the product that Google installs on Chromebooks. So Chromebooks are the brands of computers that run Chrome OS. Chromium OS is the open source version, a development version. There are a few different forks of Chromium, one being Fide OS. Fide OS is a Chrome OS fork aimed at China and brings Android app support. And that's what we'll be installing today. Fide OS can run smoothly on most mainstream hardware. Hardware devices installed with Fide OS can perfectly support the latest web application standards and are compatible with Android programs and Linux environments. Let's head over to the Fide OS GitHub repository. New releases are available regularly for the Raspberry Pi 3B, 3B Plus, and also 4 and 400. I'll be using a Raspberry Pi 400 since it is high performance, has a built-in keyboard, and comes with a mouse, which we'll need anyway. We are also going to need a micro SD card to burn our FIDE OS image onto. As a minimum, you'll need one with a capacity of at least 8 gigabytes and should be a class 10 or better. An HDMI monitor. If you'll be using a Pi 3B, 3B Plus, or 4, you will also need a USB keyboard and mouse. These can be wireless devices if you wish. We'll need to visit the Raspberry Pi organization's website and download and install Raspberry Pi Imager. After you have installed Raspberry Pi Imager, click on Choose OS, scroll down to the Use Custom, and click. Locate the image file that you downloaded previously and click on the Open button. Now ensure that your SD card is inserted in your computer. Click Storage and locate your SD card. Select your SD card to write the image to. Click Write when finished. It's time to insert our freshly burned micro SD card into our Raspberry Pi and power up. Okay, we're powering up with our micro SD card with the image burned onto it. And the first screen we'll get presented with is a FIDE OS login screen. Now, um, we're going to use the local account because the other account needs a subscription. And I'm just going to demo with the uh, local account. So I'm going to create a username. I'm going to enter a password. And strangely enough, you can't confirm the password until you click next. Then you're presented with the confirmed password. So confirm your password. Press next. And it's now creating the account, the local account. OK. Click the Get Started button. And the first thing you'll notice is it launches the Chromium browser. We're just going to refresh the browser. And it takes us to the Microsoft Bing homepage. So the first thing we want to do is likely set up some regional settings um, and other settings that are pertaining to our particular setup. So the first thing we want to do is probably turn off Wi-Fi. Um, I'm directly connected with an Ethernet cable. And you can see my account. And we're going to scroll down. And we're going to check out the storage management. So you can see I've got close to 7 gigabytes use in use out of a 32 gig card. So I have lots of free available space. 
So now we should go in and, and check the regional settings. And if you don't like the current wallpaper or the default wallpaper, you can change it here. Uh, let's pick a nice landscape. That one looks nice. Close that. And let's change the search engine. I, I prefer Google over Bing, so we'll set it to Google. And you're going to see why in a minute, why I did that. This is just the uh, the settings and making sure that enabled guest browsing. I guess if you wanted to set this up for a kiosk, those settings would be uh, helpful to you. So under the apps setting, um, we can set the uh, the apps that we have installed so that they're pinned to the shelf and they appear at the bottom in the center screen on your desktop. So I just clicked on the store, and this is the FIDE OS store, similar to the Google App Store. And I've also pinned it to the menu. Um, I don't find that the uh, auto location always works, so I'm going to set my actual time zone here. Eastern Daylight is where I'm at. Language support, I was very surprised to see uh, Canadian English here. So I'm going to select that. And this requires a restart. So log in with my password, one, two, three. I don't recommend you use that for a password for any long-term use. OK. You can see that Google is now my default web homepage. And you're going to see the App Store button there. So if I click on that, I can browse the App Store and uh, actually install apps as well. So let's go do that. And let's find, oh, there's the YouTube app. Let's install that. So we just simply click on it and add to Chrome and add app. And this may take a minute. When it's done, you'll see the download status and the installation status in the lower right-hand corner of the screen. There it is, download complete. And it's installed successfully. And you can see at the bottom of our, our shelf, dead center is the icon for YouTube. Let's try this one. And it's installing. And download is complete and it's successfully installed. You notice sometimes it doesn't add it automatically to the shelf. But if you click this little arrow up here, you can see uh, it, it puts all of them in there. And this is the Android um, subsystem that FidoS includes. So if you want to run um, Android apps, you need to install this. Of course, you have to accept the 
end user license agreement and click launch. And I guess that's about time, all the time we have today. But uh, if you enjoy uh, Amateur Logic Shorts, please click the like button. Be sure to click subscribe to be notified when new episodes become available. And let your friends know about this video by clicking share. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching.